Hello, how are you? Netsu Takasawa. Yes, nice uh, to meet you. Vehicle line manager for Mazda. And we're here in Miami and you came out to show something to us. Yeah. What is it? What, what are we in? We're in the new 30 Marrier CX-9. So this car came up, if I remember well, like about five years ago when it was North American Truck of the Year, right? Yeah, and it won many other awards as well. And, but now, only five years later, you're coming with the third facelift for it? Well, this That's is very the second, fast. The this se second oh, the phase second phase phase phase. But still, in five years, it used to be like in five years, you, you will leave the car alone for five <laughs> years. But now, I guess things are changing much faster. Yeah, this is, um, again, when we introduced the car, it was really competitive and a segment leader in many areas. But even today, this car, uh, as I went through my walk around, has many advantages versus our competitors today. And uh, this is a three three row car, so can mm -hmm. you can sit comfortably seven. Yes. And But still has that Mazda sense and feeling, right? You can really yeah. have fun driving it. Yeah. What we notice with consumers is they do use it with their family and carrying things, but in many instances, they do drive alone. They drive it and we want to make sure when they're driving alone, they still have the dynamics and performance of a real smaller nimble vehicle. You now have, uh, if I am correct, three um, crossover SUVs. You have the Mazda 5, you have the CX-7, and you have the CX-9. Well, actu actually, we've updated that somewhat. We have the CX-9, has a uh, CX-7 has been replaced with the CX-5. Oh, the CX-5, So it's okay. the new generation But then car. you have still the, Maz the Mazda, Mazda 5. Mazda 5, yes, as our kind of our functional family vehicle. Okay, so what's new in this car for 2013? Well, there's a, a lot of great new features um, from the design is all new in the front fascia, rear fascia. We've updated some of the wheel design. We've added uh, bi-xenons on the grand turn. We've added LED daytime running lights on the uh, exterior. On the interior, we've upgraded a lot of these uh, components to the meter graphics, the leather steering wheel, the Bordeaux uh, graphics, the shift knob, the MID, uh, what we call the multi-information display. We went to a larger screen size, a 5.8 yeah. inch. On the Touring Grand Touring, we had it only optional last year. We've added a bigger size, added that, plus new technology features like um, uh, Bluetooth audio, USB audio input, HD radio, uh, Pandora enabled audio system, short text messaging, 911. Uh, yes, a lot of technology is new in this car as well as, should I keep going? Yeah, On absolutely. The, uh, There's a lot we've to added, be said. Yes, yeah. <laughs> added memory mirrors, we've added uh, tilt and reverse features. So when you uh, go in reverse, the, the door mirrors tilt down so you can parallel park better, yeah. you have new rear backup sensors, and we've kind of upgraded the packaging. Uh, power lift gate is now standard on Grand Tour. We've moved the popular blind spot monitoring system from the Grand Touring only to the Touring as well. So a lot of good equipment updates. Yeah, and uh, with all that, still the pricing is pretty affordable when you consider that it's basically a luxury vehicle. Yes, yes. You notice these high-end consumers um, really wealthy, uh, well-educated. When they see the package, when they see the value, they are purchasing this product. Uh, we see a lot of them even compare higher-end premium cars like yeah. the MDX, um, but when they look at the value, price, packaging, um, they are ending up with our vehicle. This one that is completely fully loaded is around $40,000, which is yes. not very expensive for considering how much it has. Yeah, it is. Uh, when we do our comparison versus some of the bigger import competitors, this is over a thousand dollars better value than those competitors. Yeah, so here we're sitting actually at the lobby of the JW Marriott mm -hmm. in Miami, a luxury hotel and luxury car, and it looks like a piece of art sitting here in the lobby. It does. I, when I saw the light and the accent, um, actually I said, wow, this car does look like it fits right in um, this lobby, and I think we should just keep it, keep it here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to try to get it out through the door and let's see if we can drive it, okay? Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank you. much. Nice for having us here. Good. Thank you.